Welcome to what's happening with the X. The X in this video is cancer. We're going to take a look at your X cancer and find out anything we can about what they're thinking, feeling. Of course, all the information I receive, I will relate to you. Keep in mind, this does coordinate with the soulmate twin flame journey. I created them to coordinate with each other to help you get a better idea of what's taking place. It's a difficult journey to go through, so I thought this may be a benefit for you. So, for the next one to two weeks, your ex cancer has the Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Hermit card. And the clarifying card is the Eight of Cups, the Moon card, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. The Four of Pentacles is actually a person who's holding back. They're not open to receiving and giving. They, they're, it's the Miser card. So they are not opening up to you as far as how they feel about you. And the truth is they really want this beautiful, passionate beginning with you. And I'm talking passion on every level where the two of you can have spontaneous trips and adventures and where life is just filled with excitement. This is how they see you. This is actually how they, this is what they want with you. And then we have the Hermit card. This is about going inward, going internally, receiving messages from the universe. See how those are coming down into here. This is the downloads that we receive in our dream state, in our intuitive mind from the crown chakra down. But this is your ex cancer actually getting some enlightenment of what is taking place between the two of you. Following their intuition because they want this, but they don't know how to get out of holding back. So they could have been through a lot, a lot. Yeah. So when we look at this, you know, we have the Eight of Cups where they have walked away from something that they invested a lot into. It may have hurt them very, very deeply, very deeply. So therefore, you maybe have felt when you ended this relationship that there were secrets there, that you didn't know what was taking place in their life because they may not have opened up, right? They didn't open up. They didn't share this with you. And what I'm really hearing is they didn't know how. They felt trapped, they felt stuck in a negative thinking pattern of whatever took place before they ever met you. So it's like this, um, this fear. If I open up and I tell you that I want this with you, then everything's gonna go awry. Everything's gonna fall apart. But the truth is they're actually focused on you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're not paying attention to anything else around them. They're focused on you. There's a lot of fear associated with your ex cancer opening up. A lot of fear. So, you know, the universe is actually working with them to help them get a better sense of clarity, a better idea of the reality of love. You know, sometimes we, all of us, have been through relationships that don't work. They don't. Even though we love that other person, it just wasn't the right relationship for them, for you, for me, for whoever. And it didn't work out. But in this particular case, they aren't quite seeing that. So the universe is saying, hey, wait, we're going to give you this beautiful opportunity to take action on this. Now, this does indicate somebody from the past can return. So it looks like they may eventually return. But let's take a look at their hopes and fears. And we know clearly there's a ton. All of this is fear, complacency. Um, yeah, a lot of fear, a lot of negative thinking. Almost getting a feeling internally that they're panicked panicking like they're gonna lose you but yet they don't know how to open up we have the hierophant card 
and the tower. So the Hierophant card is all about socialized belief systems. This is about your ex-cancer maybe listening to the people in their lives. Maybe the people in their lives are trying to tell them, yeah, no, don't do that. Do this, do this, do this, do this. It can be family, it can be friends, it can be people they work with, people they are very close to that they view have a good sense of logic about life in general. But this is also indicating a change. A change needs to take place in your ex-cancer so that they can open up and take advantage of this beautiful new beginning. Now, because they are receiving all of this information from the universe, right? The universe is gonna come in and say, you know what, since you aren't changing your belief system, we're gonna show you how to make that change. We're gonna help you do this. We are actually gonna create this tower in your life so that you can view what is actually applicable to you. Base your decisions on love, on your own belief system, rather than what other people want you to do. This is about relationship. This is about commitment, traditions, and values. Marriage, exclusive relationship. They may be going to see a counselor, and through the counselor, Somehow the universe is going to work through this other person to actually help them change the way that they view love, the way they view relationships. Not all relationships fail. <clears throat> so to bring the past into the current relationship is going to doom the current relationship right from the get-go. And I know a lot of you are understanding that most definitely, which is why you walked away why the relationship ended. So what they fear is change. Change in what they view, change in the way they do what they do. The fear of opening up, that's huge change, huge change. But you see, they know they have to open up or they're gonna, they, this opportunity is gonna pass. It is gonna pass, it doesn't last long. What they're hoping for is to have that change take place where they can have this wonderful relationship with you. Yeah. So what we're going to look at now, uh, we're gonna go to Vimeo and take a look at what's actually blocking them from moving forward to you to start this beautiful brand new beginning. We know there's a lot of fear and this change is gonna help them overcome the fear but let's take a look at what's blocking them, what the universe has for the advice and outcome for your ex-cancer, as well as where it's gonna move into in the following one to two weeks. They're gonna take some form of action, but let's see where it's headed to. So when you click the link below for Vimeo, scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the correct zodiac and date. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the other side.